still go to tutoring or whatever. You can still do what you do. You're studying at home. But when you come to YPP, you just, you can let loose. You don't have to sit in here and have a math book in your hand and you doing this and you doing that. You can just have plain fun while you still learning stuff. With the help of YPP, we have seen tremendous growth in our math schools each nine weeks. The attitude of the kids have increased because of YPP. The kids are asking, when are they coming back? They want that interaction. I highly recommend it. The interaction between the college students and the sixth graders has been very beneficial, I think, to everybody. The sixth graders have learned a great deal of math, but also the social interaction has been very helpful to them. Um, I think it's an excellent program. Um, you have college students that are partnered with uh, a middle school and they introduce different kinesthetic and tactile activities, meaning that uh, they have students to move around and do hands-on type projects in order to understand different math concepts. So I think it's an excellent program. It's a different way uh, in which children are learning different math concepts. Um, and it might be a little different than what they're used to seeing in their classroom during the day. <laughs> ten. Ten. It makes learning fun. The, the college students can do a little bit different activities than what we can do in a regular classroom, and the student to teacher ratio is much lower. The scores have increased each quarter, and um, I've also noticed, and it had to have had the help of the YPB students for after school tutorial, and when they come in on Fridays, every other Friday they go into the classrooms and tutor those children or help the teacher with the lessons that she's trying to get over to the students. So with that added support, um, that has manifested itself into their scores. And so we see improvement. And the children seem to be very excited and comfortable about doing their math uh, these days. What do you do? Hey, I got it right, though. Yeah, but I can't. So I'm good. How many points you got? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got it right, though. Yeah. I knew you had it. How many points you got? Nine. I got it right. Five. Three reds. Five greens. And seven yellows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Did you want? Is that what you predicted? So there was more Is that what you said it was? Go ahead. So there was more yellow and blue than red and green. That's a green and blue attack. The green doing the uh, probability um, when you did the hoop game and then you had the graph. Um, all those things was just very beneficial because when we tried to do it, it was like, oh, everybody was looking like, okay, what is Mr. Moore talking about? But when you came at them with the manipulatives, they didn't even tie it into like, oh, it's just boring math. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, let's do this again. So no matter what activity you threw at them, they took it and applied it to whatever activity that you had. So, I mean, I like that. So. It used to give me a couple, like, some times and y'all used to come and y'all used to bring us no candy or whatever, but I ain't gonna hold that against y'all no more. But, um... It used to be, it, it was good or whatever. I had to get used to the people because I didn't like know them and they was just like talking to me, talking to me because it was child friendly. I was like, that's, that's cool. If it was something that we could tie y'all in on a consistent basis, man, the it's almost, you can't even imagine how focused you can get the kids into mathematics.
I have children is you sitting in there and you got a you got a book in your hand, you got an SOL coach book in your hand and your teacher. Shaquana McKee will come to the main office. Come in. And you just stay right there. Come in. But when you at YPP, like I said, it's plain fun. Still learning stuff that you didn't know, or you refreshing your memory about stuff that you didn't know that'll get you ready for tests that's coming up in the future. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life Let's rock. Ah, yes. Rap does it again. Another day work, another day.